Hi! If you want to know how to go from chattery drone footage like this to cinematic, smooth and chatter-free drone footage like this, stick with me for a moment and I will reveal the number one secret that makes all the difference. I have been releasing a few cinematic drone videos on YouTube recently and one question came up again and again. How do you get your footage so smooth without any judder or jerkiness? And I realized that there is not one video on YouTube, at least none that I was able to find, uh, that explains and solves this drone specific problem. But before we get into it, I want to point out that there are a few factors that contribute to making your drone footage look smooth. So in this video, I assume that you already know how to smoothly move your drone in space and how to use ND filters to get the right shutter speed. These points are also very important, but there are countless videos on YouTube already explaining this, so I'm not getting into that today. And today we are talking frame rate. 24 frames per second. 24 frames per second. 24 frames per second. Is not the frame rate you want to use if you want your drone footage to look cinematic, smooth and judder free on YouTube. And yeah, I know this is very, very controversial, but really, stick with me till the end and then you'll see why this is actually true. I'm gonna show you now a few drone clips from different YouTube creators. And it is all great content, but if you look particularly at the parts of the frame where the most movement is going on on a pixel-to-pixel -pixel basis, you will see that the movement is not smooth, but rather pumping or juddering. In the first clip, look at the bottom of the frame where most movement is going on. In this clip, you can see the judder in the bushes very clearly, and in this orbiting clip, check the horizon in the background chattering heavily. Another example is following amazing video of Iceland by YouTube creator James Matthews. In the first clip you can see how the drone chatters to the left of the frame. And now focus on the icebergs in the bottom left corner when the drone flies by closely. The movement is not smooth, it is chattering, almost stuttering, and that's caused by the frame rate of 24 frames per second. To make it even more obvious, I filmed a few scenes myself. One is coming out smooth and the other one is juddering. In the first pair of clips, set your focus on the bridge. Here it is smooth and here it is juddering. And in the second clip pair, because of the sidewards movement, the whole clip is juddering. And in this orbiting motion, you can see the judder best in the horizon where the most movement is going on. Now, did you make out the difference in smoothness? The two corresponding clips were each filmed with the same exposure settings and the same ND filter. The only difference was the frame rate. The chattery clips were filmed and played back in 24 fps, while the smooth clips were filmed and played back in 30 fps. Quick disclaimer, when I talk about 30 fps, that includes 29.97 fps, as well as real 30 fps. So in essence, the wrong frame rate is causing the video to play back unevenly. Record your videos in 30 fps, put them on a timeline with 30 fps, and export this timeline with 30 fps, and the problem is history. But then, why is everybody promoting 24 FPS? Well, I'm not sure, but my theory is that everybody just talks after the YouTube filmmakers that promote 24 FPS, completely ignoring the fact that their content is played back mainly on devices like computer, smartphone and tablet displays that are not able to play back 24 FPS footage smoothly, opposing to cinema projectors and TVs, of course. It's the fact that most computer, smartphone and tablet displays operate at a refresh rate of 60Hz. And 24 frames per second don't fit evenly into 60 screen updates per second. So each odd frame is displayed for 3 screen updates, while each even frame is displayed for only 2 screen updates. And this gives this chattery pumping feeling on playback. Google 3 2 pull down for more in detail information. However, if your project is 30fps, each frame of the video will be displayed for two screen updates and playback is smooth and even. So if 30 FPS looks smooth on a 60 Hz display, wouldn't 60 frames per second look even smoother? And the answer is yes. But if you'd like to preserve the movie-like feel to your videos, I'd rather stick with 30 frames per second because it's closer to the number of 24 frames per second, which is, of course, the cinematic standard. Absolutely not. If you want it to playback judder free, just put it on a 30 FPS timeline and adjust the playback speed to 125% for 24 frames per second footage or 120% for 25 frames per second footage. 
you will most probably get away with 24 frames per second without any visible chatter in non-drone footage. With drone footage, however, it's a different story because the chatter that is inherent to 24 frames per second on a 60Hz display will show distinctly in drone shots, except for static ones or ones with only subtle camera movement. I would really recommend to stick with 30 frames per second for drone footage. 25 frames per second is basically the same as 24 frames per second when it comes to judder on a 60Hz display. That's an extensive topic on its own. With drone footage usually it's not a problem because you're filming outdoor without any artificial lights. If however any artificial lights are in your shot, stick to the following rules. If you're filming in countries with 60Hz mains frequency, that's mostly North, Central and parts of South America, filming at 30fps you can use any shutter speed and you won't get any flickering. In countries with 50Hz mains frequency however, that's basically the rest of the world, when you're using 30fps you have to stick to 150th of a second or 100th of a second in order to avoid flickering. To put all the pieces together to get cinematic, smooth and shutter-free drone footage for your YouTube videos, learn how to smoothly move your drone, use ND filters if necessary to keep the shutter speed close to the ideal of 150th or 160th of a second, and the most important part, use 30 FPS. And additionally, if artificial lights are in your shot, adjust your shutter speed as covered before to avoid flickering in those lights. Give it a try and please let me know in the comments how it worked for you. Now you can watch this video next to see how 30 frames per second in drone footage are at least as cinematic as 24 frames per second, avoid judder and make the watching experience even more immersive. Thank you for watching. Please support me by giving this video a thumbs up and help spread the message by sharing this video. That's it for now. See you soon.